Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you a few African herbs and spices that will help boost up your immune system especially in these times that we're in so stay tuned and I'll take you through step by step on how to make this immune system booster come on this is hi daddy okay guys so these are the ingredients for today so we're going to be starting off with the estrose, efomse Wainty, Fomwes, and the main attraction, this is the Prekese. You need to have this. This is where all the magic is coming from. So the Prekese. Okay, so this, these are the herbs and the spices. Okay, and of course, we've got a whole pineapple here. Now we're going to be using everything here, including especially the skin of the pineapple. Okay, we've got three lemons here that we'll cut up as well. These you already know. And then we've got some um, ginger here as well. And um, of course, a bit more of the precursor. I'll be using actually all the precursor that you can see here. Okay? So I will list the ingredients and the right spelling in the description box below. So before we get started, I've got all the African herbs and spices that I described to you at the beginning. All in a sieve here. We're just going to run it through some water just to get any bits of pieces that we don't want on it out. Okay? So just sieve it through. Put it in a nice little sieve here if you've got one. And um, yeah, or if you don't have a sieve, just put it in a bowl of water with your hand and just go around it and just pour away the excess water and the waste that you don't need, okay? So um, I've got a sieve here, so just run it underneath a tap, cold water, just to make sure any bits of um, mud or flies or whatever it may be, okay? Just to keep it washed. Nice and clean. Okay, so the next stage now is we're going to be grinding the herbs together. So I've got this metal, I don't know what this is called, but it's, it's metal. I think it's a grinder, yeah? And I've got this um, tapoli. So whatever whatever ways you want to grind it, as long as you can grind it nicely, that's all it is, okay? So let's go. Now this will be maybe the hardest part of the whole process of making this. Because these nuts are tough. Okay, so you get the basic idea. Yeah, so just grind it as much as you can. If they're too tough, what you can also do is you can soak them overnight. But I like to keep them fresh. I mean, I'm sure if you soak them, they'll still be fresh anyway. But um, this is how I've always done it. But it has, you can do it by just soaking it overnight, which would then make this process here a lot easier. Okay? So I'm going to pause it here and I'll come back to when I've actually got it to the texture that I want. Okay? About five minutes of um, aggressive grinding. So I've got it to a nice texture here, so it's um, nice and soft, I'm, I've not added any water to it or anything like that. So just basically just break up the herbs, okay? So this is the texture you're looking for, okay? So that's the first stage done, so put this to one side and I'll come back to the next stage. This is the ginger, so as you can see I've cut them into strips, I've washed them, keep the skin on, okay? So all the goodness is in the ginger, so you want to keep every bit of it. So now we're just going to crush them. Now we're not going to crush them too fine. Anyway, just watch what I'm doing. Okay, so keep a hold of them because they tend to jump out sometimes. Now we don't want them to be too fine. Just crush them. So when you boil them, it makes it easier to get all of that ginger goodness out of it okay so just crush them like that you don't want them to be too fine because we're going to boil it so all the goodness will come out of it okay next stage is the lemons just have to chop them up anyhow you want okay so i usually chop them up like that okay and just put them in the pot seeds and everything all goes in just make sure you've washed it
Okay, so the next stage and pretty much the final stage other than adding the Percocet in is the pineapple. So remember we're using the skin as well. You can use the head if you want, but my um, my pot is too small to be using all of this bit as well. So I'm gonna keep this to the next side, okay? So take off the skin nicely. So make sure you've washed your pineapple, okay? And when you're looking for the pineapple, try to get the ones that are really green. You don't really want the ripe ones, because when they're ripe, they're pretty much close to the all the life that's in it. It's already gone. Okay, so the green ones are still alive, if you know what I mean, if that makes sense to you, yeah? I probably should have got a bigger pot because usually, well, I am actually going to use um, the fruit as well. But the main thing is the pineapple um, skin. Okay, so let me just put that bit there. So this is the skin here, okay, so just chop them up, okay, anyhow you want, yeah, see that, about that size, just put them in the pot, okay, they're easier to chop the inside rather than trying to chop it from the outside, it's a lot tougher on the outside, so chop it from the inside. Okay. All the energy is within the skin. I mean, you can eat the well, obviously, <laughs> you do eat the fruit, <laughs> but you can chop it up and add it in as well. But I prefer to just get the energy from the skin okay now do do some research and see the goodness of the pineapple skin and then you see why my ancestors have used this um, remedy for so long okay I actually got this recipe from my dad he's in Ghana now but when he was here this is how he made it come flu season, corona season, whatever season. Okay, so and that's that bit done. Okay guys, so this is what it all looks like. So I've chopped up the precursor. Hope you can see it. I probably should have showed you how to cut it, but you get the, you get the idea. Okay, they're quite tough, so be careful when you're cutting them. So I've used three whole precursor, which I've cut up and put it inside as well. So once everything is all in there, the ginger, the lemons, the pineapple skin, the precursor. Now these are the herbs that we grinded earlier. Okay, so now you just put them all in. Okay, just sprinkle them on top. Okay. okay. Give it a good mix. Mix it up well, well, all right? Okay, now, all we have to do now is just add some water to the top, okay? And then put it on the gas on a low heat. So cold water. Okay, so I've just added some water to it. So now I'm just gonna put it on the gas on a low heat. So what you, do, you don't want to cook it too quickly. You just want it to be on a low heat. So as it boils, it takes out all the nutrients from all what's inside, okay? Because if you put it on a high heat, it's just gonna burn up and drain and you won't get as much out of it as you want. Because what we mainly want is the liquid juice that forms after it's been boiled down. So you're gonna leave this on the gas for about half an hour just every five minutes come, give it a stir. 
when it starts boiling, you, you will get a smell, a, a lovely smell of all the herbs and spices. And that's when it's pretty much done. So about half an hour on the on heat cooker. That's it, cooker. It's been about um, half an hour to about 40 minutes on a slow to medium heat. So it can cook through and get out all the nutrients and everything that we need from the herbs and the spices. Okay, so it's ready to be honest. So as you can see, it's got the liquid has turned brown. Hope you can see that. Okay, so that's what you need it to look like. Okay, so now the best way to have it is early in the mornings before you leave home and when you come back from your activities, whether it be from work or whatever you do out there. Okay, so have it in the morning before you leave to go out there so it can get you prepared and boost up your immune system and have you ready to take on the world. So I'll show you how I'm going to serve it in the next video. Peace. So any bits and pieces will not get in the way. Another way of having it is you can just have all the bits and pieces in it anyway and just leave it for about two to three minutes and it will settle at the bottom of your cup. Okay. Now these bits in there, once you finish sieving, do not throw away. Just put them back into your um, mixture okay because you it can it still got some nutrients in there okay so now this mix that we've made it, it will last about a week so you have it twice a day in the mornings and in the evenings when you come back so each time just scoop it up like this if it's gone cold put it in the microwave warm it up to whatever temperature you want and then you're you're good to go so if you find that the the mixture is getting lower and lower in your bigger pot so in about about four days time it will go lower so just add a bit of um, cold water to it and just put it again on a low heat it won't be as strong as it is now but it will still keep you going till you make your next mixture so i don't actually know what this is called but it's an african immune system booster come on there you go enjoy it let me know how it goes in the comments and yeah keep safe out there guys Peace.